Hi guys! Um, gusto ko lang i-share ito sa inyo ha. I, I received an email from one of our subscriber. And she is living in the US. Uh, so ito yung sabi niya. I have a condo. Hi Claudine. Kamusta? I have a condo. Um, hindi siya kumikita. In fact, I'm still paying monthly amortization. So, what is my exit strategy? What is my exit para I can turn this into a cash flowing asset? Mm -hmm. See, I always say that condo is never, not never, it's depending on your financial situation. But if you are thinking that this condo will be your good rental investment, uh, you see, it depends. When you buy it as cash, maybe, because you're just letting your your money sitting down there and it's because you already pay cash. But if you're buying it through bank financing, which is mostly the case, kasi diba, right now, ang mamahal din ng konto, sometimes it could range from what, 3 million, 4 million, probably the cheapest now, depending on the area. <coughs> so, I think what you should do as a sit strategy if you want to turn that condo into a cash flowing asset. So let's say if that is like even if you're renting and it's not making cash flow and you're still tapping up the the amortization. Like if you're probably tapping up for like 5000. The thing is I still classify that as bad investment. I think what you should do is see if you can sell that property and then buy a house and lot that you could potentially turn it into multi-unit. So I'm sure I just need to know. Let's say, let's say, let's just assume, okay? Now worth 4 million yung property mo, yung condo mo. But I don't know it could that could be one bedroom, two bedroom, but again, you'll be only accepting one type of tenant because that's not multi-unit. Normally condo is just like once the tenant is gone, you have no you have no more tenant. So it big sabihin ang risk niyan is that yan yan sin sinasabi ko sa single at saka condo. Ang risk kasi niyan is that Pag nawala na yung tenant mo, wala ka na rin income. It depends on how quick you could uh, refill a ten new tenant. So, ideally, I do not recommend to buy condo. If this is, if you want to really start your uh, world of investing, especially if you're using bank financing, uh, it would be better if you just buy a house and lot and then eventually um you turn it into two doors three doors or like studios because imagine mo kapag meron kang multi-unit let's say apat yan nawala man yung isa may tatlo ka pa so mas less lang yung responsibility mawala man yung dalawa may tap may dalawa ka pa you know what i mean so and then um just be good at it on advertising your for rent. So, ideally, if I were to say, if you can afford to sell that, I'm sure you've already built up an equity. So, I'm just assuming na, kasi you mentioned eh, uh, you're paying amortization. So, if I were you, find an agent or a broker na that can sell your property and then, um, whoever can buy cash and then whatever equity that you've already built into that because i'm sure it might have appreciated i'm not sure how fast the appreciation of condos in the philippines because i don't invest in condo because i don't see money in the condos i don't know for unless you're probably buying it for cash and you have that cash uh just you just want that cash to be sitting in there and you want that money to make for you because some some are like that that's their strategy and they just want to make it safe but if, if it's the case is that kung uh, my monthly amortization yan if i were you liquidate that uh, just sell it and then take that 
money whatever you equity that you built in there and then see if you can buy house and lot instead in a very busy area i know that it could be very uh, expensive but again the advantage of house and lot is you will have that for the rest of your life and you can even pass that on to your family you know in case something happens to you so um liquidate that and gradually work on uh, on buying at least two doors or three doors uh, property so wherever you are from just find where is the busier area and there's a, a rental demand so i would not recommend you to continuously paying that but ask in the meantime na nagahanap ka ng buyer uh, keep going try not to na hindi mo babayaran kasi mapuporclose yan sayang naman yung nabuilt mo na equity so ideally keep paying and keep looking for someone to buy that property uh, that condo because otherwise it'll be your biggest liability and i'm sure may i assume na ikaw ay isang OFW so you probably sign up for 15 years as well so and you know the the thing also with condos is that alam niyo ba na kapag lumuluma yung building parang feeling ko especially if this is your your investment ah you ano wala nang nalul, since naluluma na yung building hindi na siya ganoon ka attractive sa mga tenant tapos parang bumababa din yung value hindi siya katulad ng house and lot now this is not my this is not 100% but that's i think is happening because minsan hindi na na-maintain nyo ng developer yung condo. Depending din yan sa isang, uh, de depende din yan sa developer. So, I saw one condos when we were in the Philippines, yung, ano nga ba yung condo na yun, yung inadvertised ni Christopher De Leon. Um, somebody, banta dyan sa tagig. Oh my God! Ano nga ba yung, ano na yun, condo na yun? Pumunta kami doon, di ba? Kasi I was very curious. We we're looking to see like if there's really, if we can make money. So we did try to see and consider. So we look around when we were there back in 2021. We look around, <clears throat> not only 2021, yeah, 2021. <clears throat> we look around in that area when we were in Taguig. And uh, there's this condominium there. Ano mga pangalan? Nakalimutan ko. Sorry guys, nakalimutan ko. But anyway, just go. Ang very low maintenance. Wala silang ilaw sa mga hallway. Tapos, elevator nila wala rin ilaw. Oh my God. So I said like, what? And tenants are basically <coughs> complaining also. Kasi di ba yung mga basura nila parang walang collection. So, very low maintenance so imagine mo if you kasi alam mo naman ang mga condo mga mga companies ngayon they're very good in their marketing so don't kayo don't be enticed on those marketing so uh especially if you're OFW don't uh, i just really think that OFW should not buy condos as a rental investment just go straight away house and lot and multi unit that's it. You really want to retire and as soon as possible and you want to be um, financially independent, build your own apartment. And if you want to go home later on, you can live in the ground floor, all for rents on the top floor. That's the way you should be doing. Don't be enticed with all these condos. It's not yet. Maybe later on. Like, But if you really want to invest in the Philippines, don't buy condo as your rent first rental investment that's what i can say so anyway guys my name is claudine if you're first time in my channel my name is claudine gallagher i am property investor in the philippines uh habang nakatira ko sa abroad and i've been doing it since 2008 and whatever you see on my videos based lang po yan sa aking personal experience and ang purpose ng aking videos ay para makatulong sa inyo uh, na magkaroon kayo ng idea kung paano mag-start ng rental investment sa Pilipinas. Uh, as I mentioned on my other videos, nag-accept na ako ng consultation call since 2023 and I have done 
uh, all more than 30 uh, clients now and I'm also doing a mentorship only for those who are really really um, uh, really really uh, want to invest in uh, in the Philippines kasi gusto ko kapag sila natuto na ituro ko na yung idea gusto ko ipas around din nila and share nila so that's my purpose so anyway guys if you're interested to start your rental investment in the Philippines I will highly suggest to, to get a basic knowledge, get educated, check my other videos, check other people's videos, um, get involved in uh, real estate uh, community, get connected, uh, find all these shakers and takers in your area. If you are an OFW, connect with people, real estate investor in the Philippines if that's if the Philippines is where you want to do it. Uh, is it possible really kahit nasa abroad kayo? Yes, and I do it the same. That's why I am trying to share para magkaroon kayo ng idea. And again, if you are interested to have a consultation call, I accept 45 minutes for minimal amount of money. Send me an email. My email is in the description below. Just send me and we can schedule a consultation call with you for a minimal amount of money. And yeah, hopefully to meet you. I'll be very happy to help you uh, towards your financial independent goals. So anyway, guys, please do check my other videos as well. And let's chat soon. Bye.